Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Battle Brothers. Episode 30 is upon us. And we're going to go at least till 50. No, it's probably going to be 50. Unless we get a bunch of people killed, then it'll be less than that. Like, we start losing people hand over fist. Like, we lose three or four people. I'm probably just going to break off this season. And then we'll give it about a week's rest, I think. I'm going to try to give it a week's rest. I hope you guys will stay interested enough to come back in a week to continue with the... You know the battle brothers thing but it's gonna also be really hard for me not to be putting out battle brothers videos during that week where i'm not doing it it's gonna be pretty tough it's tough skipping even a day at this point so to skip an entire week yeah, it's gonna be challenging i don't think i want either of these they look like they're both uh fedex quests so i'm not gonna do that we are gonna go and we're going to buy up all of this stuff Let's see, I think we have a small issue with what I did. Like, I think if he's got this, he's actually going to be considered ranged. If he's starting with that, and therefore he'll start on the back line. I don't want him to start on the back line. So, what we're going to do instead... Is... We're going to leave... Yes. And we're going to go do battle with that nasty place, I think. That is going to be our play. So, we're going to go traverse the entire map, and we're going to get up there, and we're going to do murder. It's going to be fine. So, pretty exciting stuff, pretty exciting stuff. This is going to be the last super huge challenge that we face until more show up on the map. I mean, there's, I, I don't, I say super huge challenge, I have no idea. It could be very, very, very simplistic. It says it's an even fight, but chances are when we get nearby... They're going to send people out to either engage with us or run away like scared little girls. I mean, there's, you know, a lot of possibilities here. I mean, we fought that one orc, that one orc leader who's just like, nope. The orc chieftain's like, no, don't hurt me. I'm going to hide in the bushes. I refuse to engage. Ooh, hello, bandit hunters that are puny and want me to eat their livers. All right. I want to be close enough. Yeah, I think we're close enough. Okay, so we're going to murder these guys. And then we're going to go after the bandits down there. My tummy is making all sorts of weird sounds. Oh my gosh, we have the high ground advantage. What is this? This is beautiful. That was an impressive miss, by the way. Oh, come on, man. There you go. And... Uh, yeah, the blind one hits. Very nice. Alright, space bar, space bar on the keyboard. Sorry, I'm just going to spam the spacebar, guys, really slowly. It's like a banana windmill spacebar thing. High production value, guys. Oh, I can't skip the enemy's turn. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look, they're moving up because they want to be able to shoot us. That's so cute. That's so adorable. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Not really. All right, well, I suppose I can come over here and pin you in. I think I did. I'm not actually sure. Oh, hello. Well, we have a little bit more vision and idea of what's going on right now. That's good, I guess. Well, I don't. Eh, eh. Kind of casually walk between them. Hi, guys. What's up? Yeah, not really in a good position, are you, boys? Gonna say probably not. Alright, well, either way. I think you should come engage with me, friend. Oh, they're gonna move first? Boo. Well, I don't know. I think we still might even have range on that. Look at them, they're pulling out the little knives and hatchets and things. They're so cute. So cute and cuddly. I just wanna I just wanna squeeze their cheeks. You try to shiv me, you see that? It's like die! Nope. Mm-mm. All right. Aw, oh, we can't shoot that far away. We'll poo. You're dead. You're to follow. Next up on the docket, you are dead. And you're having a bad day. Let's see who's next. Oh, you're actually gonna... That's so cute. Because you think that's gonna make any difference at all. Oh! Oh, with the big move and the pin. Get wrecked. Alright. Well, the stab and the stab, and now you're retreating, so it doesn't even matter at this point. Whatever. Another easy stab, and... I think that's it. Yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty much done. 
Okay, well, you're our shot, and you're dead. Well, jeez. They just don't make bandits like they used to, I'm just saying. This was kind of pathetic. Though I imagine if there was that many marksmen, there was what, five marksmen? Something like that? If there was that many marksmen behind like a wall of, say, like 12 guys? I don't know, man. I, I, I just, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, what will happen when I actually go up against, like, you know, you know, bandit raiders, bandit thugs, they're not super powerful by themselves, but coupled with marksmen, say we went up against a group of, like, 20 or 30 guys, and they had, um, say they had, like, a 10, a 10 tall, I don't know, whatever, a 10 tall, um, wall of melee units, like, thugs and raiders, fine, and then behind them they had, like, 10 archers, and then maybe a bandit leader. That would be pretty tremendous. That would be a really hard fight for us. I really think we would probably end up getting wrecked. I mean, you guys might not think that's a possibility, but having to eat that many arrows is going to be pretty pretty difficult. Ten shots each from like ten archers, that's a hundred arrows. I mean, if only half of those hit, it's going to be pretty bad for us. There we go. So, going into large quantities of enemies, that especially ones that have ranged units, might not be the best play. Well, I thought we did a lot more damage than that, but apparently not. 214 was the top. I guess they just didn't have any health. Alright. And, well, freebie stuff there, I guess. We can fix and sell and do what we do. Alright, well, I suppose we'll start repairing on all this stuff. There we go. And we're going to come on down and try to engage with our friend here. And it looks like... Oh, see, more th more marksmen and some thugs. So if we got those two together, that could have been nasty. It really could have been. We're actually going to hold the line up here. I think we'll be fine, assuming they don't have high ground advantage. They may, though. They also don't seem to really want to come out and play with us. There's only nine of them. Ah, here we go. Yay! Well, you got to <laughs> off at a very, very, very inopportune time. His head landed on the high ground. <laughs> ah, that's quite funny. All right, let's let's move out and see what we can find here. I'm not super concerned right now. <coughs> yep. That happened. Alright, there's our marksman. This guy should die right here. Oh, no, we moved too far, apparently. Well, I'm okay with that. Come on up here. Tech's like, wait for me, guys, I'm coming. Paulson's like, -ah, I don't know why he's all crazy sounding like a weird drunk ogre, but he is. In my mind, that's how he sounds. So glad you want to kill. He went that way. I saw a thing. Running's not as fun as hitting. Stuff like that, you know. That's how he rolls. Alright, nothing. Anyone else excited about the International 2015 or TI5 as it's belovedly called by all who oppose the righteous... No, I'm kidding. Um, the, the people... Dota the 2 fans, guys. If you're else excited by TI5, I'm excited. I don't know this year, man. I This year, the teams are... None are just, like, amazing compared to the others. Like, the, the difference between the best teams and the worst teams aren't that different anymore. I mean, I, I won't say the worst teams, but... Like, the, the Tier 1 and then the above Tier 1 teams, it's not that big of a difference any longer, so... I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Uh, like, I have no idea. Like, I had to make my predictions for who's going to get a direct invite, and I'm only sure of two. Well, I guess I'm sure of three. I'm sure that EG is going to get a direct invite. I'm sure that Team Secret's going to get a direct invite, and I'm pretty sure that Vici Gaming's going to get a direct invite. Other than that, I have no idea. Whereas last year, I could have told you with a pretty large amount of certainty who was getting a direct invite. So, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a weird, interesting year. I mean, it could be a team that you never expected that uh, makes it into uh, the finals or even wins it. I mean, that's crazy. It's crazy to think about. 
But that's neither here nor there. I'm sure not that many people are Dota 2 fans. If they are, shout out to all of you Dota 2 fans. It's it's my it's still my favorite game of all time, I guess, considering it's a it, it's in a different realm. I can't consider it like I can't compare it with a game like this. I can't compare it with um you know, like Heroes of Might and Magic or the Free Space games or anything like that. It's in a it's in its own separate like category for video gaming. So I can't really make that comparison and say, "Oh, I like it better than this." It's one of those ongoing games and there's not that many that are out, actually out there that I would even consider saying, yeah, totally worth it. Like World of Warcraft. Huge game. Had a big fan base. I played it for years. Terrible. Terrible. I will never play it again. I've been talked into it a couple times by people, but it's it always ends the same. It's just, it's awful. I can't do it anymore. Oopsie! There we go. A little bit better. And unfortunately, you're the holdout and too far away to do anything. Shameful. Shameful. Really? Well, that's kind of impressive, I suppose, in a very, very bizarre sort of way. Let's kill you off. And kill you off. Okay, that should put us into a relatively good position to murder him with Paulson. Or at least be able to catch him with Paulson. We are close. Can you? Oh, you can catch him with Darren. Get handled. And I think Tack can even do it too. Yeah. Paulson's not even needed anymore. He's like, but I'm here, guys. I'm I'm here. I want your care of something. Totally fine, buddy. Totally fine. But yeah, Dota 2, guys. Dota 2. The qualifiers are starting really, really soon, and the direct invites should actually be announced any time today. So, exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. I do like to see me some Dota 2 Pro action. Additionally, guys, I will actually be doing some coverage of the International unofficially, officially, but unofficially, with uh, Mutana. So, ooh, level ups. It's been a while. Um, so, I'm looking forward to that, too. So, if you guys want to see Mutana and I cast a couple of uh, the TI matches, you guys can feel free to join us for that. Uh, it's, it's hit or miss, guys. I know not everybody's into it. It's fine. But it's something that I'm passionate about and something that I will definitely be covering. So... If you guys want to see that, and maybe you're like, yeah, I was always curious about Dota 2, but every time I see it, it's just people making fun of other people, blah, 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 which we do as well. If you want to see us make fun of uh, Party Commissar, feel free to come uh, join us for our um, Tales from the Potato League, a spudcast, which for anyone who doesn't know what that means, it basically, there's no real leagues in Dota 2, but there are uh, definitely different skill brackets. And it's considered when you're really, really low skilled or new. Okay, we should be able to handle this. Uh, that you're in the quote unquote potato league. So if you think like uh, certain games have like the platinum league and the diamond league and the gold league and then silver and then like the newbies are tin or bronze or whatever the case is, I think Blizzard actually might have started that. I'm not sure. I, I don't quote me on that. But either way. That's where it kind of comes from. They're making fun of the different leagues, and the lowest skill league we would, they consider to be, to be, sorry, I'm like stumbling all over my words here. They consider that to be the potato league. So, yeah, it is what it is. Ooh, nasty. Oh, it looks like they're going to close with us, too. Wow, that's actually a very large amount of bad guys. I think we need to kill that guy before he hurts us. And I think we're actually going to be able to do this. That should be their leader. Karsten the Ox. I guess that is the the, the leader. I was going to say the eagle. I don't. I have no idea why. That's their leader. He's only got leather armor and a coif. A male coif. I don't know why. I'm a little confused by that, but that's okay. We'll, we'll let it slide, I guess. I think a bird just flew by my window. It's creepy. I just heard, like, wings fluttering. I'm like, what the heck is that? Is there a bat in the room? Is there a bat in the room? I don't want there to be a bat in the room. That's that's fine, guys. It's it's okay. I don't know what the play is here. I know we need to deal with the archers, but I'm going to try to use my archers to deal with their archers. Yet at the same time, we need to hold the high ground to an extent. I don't know. There's a lot of enemies. There's actually 17 of them. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit tremendous. A couple folks with chain mail, so that won't be super fun. Should be able to spear wall hold, though. 
though. I don't like being on the low ground to do this. Eh, we'll see. Um, guess we go here. Can I? No, I can't. Hmm. Okay, I guess I hold that when we come up here. If they get through, they're going to have a bad day. Why are we able to attack? Oh, we, we changed levels, but it didn't count as a double move, interestingly enough. Alright, come on down here. Paulson, where in the world am I going to stick you, buddy? I guess right there. The biggest play we're going to have to make is taking out the enemy archers. And this guy right now. Alright, I think we're going to be okay. The enemy archers have a little bit of an advantage on us in the fact that they are wearing really, really light armor as opposed to us wearing pseudo light armor. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue for us because they'll be able to move first and they'll be able to reposition before we can actually close with them. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it's going to be that bad. We'll see though. Alright, hopefully they missed. They did. Excellent. Oh, there's more archers than I thought. Well... Ouch. Yeah, he's gonna have to back up. We're probably not gonna be able to use Darren for anything but like a finishing blow. Hmm. Alright, well, I don't have the shot there, but I do have the shot on that guy. Uh, we missed. 52%? Uh, we missed again. Okay, kind of to be expected, and he's gonna back off. Darn it. Huh. We have bottlenecked them for now. Really need to get rid of that guy. Alright, good. So down he goes. Oh, and we've already failed our spear wall on one front. Okay, and yeah. Victory, holding that together. What do we got now? Oh, we just got knocked off the high ground. That's a little bit funny. I guess I can get behind that. And we fa failed the spear wall on a second front. I'm going to wait our turn there. Hmm. This could get messy. I'm going to try to cut off his finger. 53%. Very nice. And a big hit. Excellent. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um. 66% chance to hit. And we did hit. Forty three, thirty five, thirteen, twenty seven. Oh, we actually hit it. That was not really planned. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Knocked him off. Excellent. Hit that guy from the high ground. Come over here and hopefully pin these guys in. Hopefully, Tack can hold the line there. 5% and I think we're going to have to use our shield wall unfortunately okay we bought ourselves a little bit of space alright what do we have 83% oh we missed come on Paulson buddy you can't be missing stuff like that mm. going to have to fall back I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think we're going to send him back to actually deal with the others and keep him out of archer fire, because right now that's kind of the biggest problem that we're running into. Alright, this is getting a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit off-putting. Oop, Tact just got shot. And then a miss, which would have hit one of his own allies. Would have been pretty nice. Alright, okay, the big hit, and it missed. Excellent. My biggest concern are the two-handed weapon users, but that's not my only concern. Ooh, shield wall. That should be okay. Very nice. Oh, come on, man. You had that. Looks like Odie will be able to move soon. We're going to have to use our shield wall and other stuff to kind of hold the line here relatively soon. 
All right, Odie. Come on, buddy. You got this. You got this. 88%. Oh, not enough to kill. Oh, crap. Okay, you're going to use that. And I want you to return the favor to anyone who wants to go at you. That's still the leader, so let's keep an eye on Karsten. He's not actually engaged in combat right now. Dang it. Come on, man. Hold it together, boys. Hold it together. What do we have? 54%? Ooh, we landed it. Let's do it again. Yeah! Alright, I saw that coming. Alright, 79%. And we killed him off. Excellent. Ooh, that was a pretty big hit. We're gonna have the shield wall, though. We want to keep our... Keep our line if we can. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna shield wall up. Whew! Alright guys. That's a little bit scary, but we're we're holding it together. I don't know. Sending pulsing in seems like a risky, risky, risky situation. I think I'm gonna wait with him. I'll see what I want to do with him at the end of this. I'm going to start with the shield wall just in case I have no other move. Okay, I don't. Yeah, see. We're getting fatwagged. So, let's... Ooh, big nasty hit. Nice. Well done. Chibaban of the double tap. Oh, that's unfortunate. Eh. Nothing there, and... Hmm. Still not certain what I want to do with you, but... I suppose the best play is going to be to maybe move there. And then maybe you can actually get a kill there. We're going to end your turn. Let's see what's next. Move up in the shot. No shot. Okay. Oh, and then... Oh, trying to get through our armor, but getting wrecked by our shield wall. Ouch. Okay, you're going to move... Oh, you're not. You're going to avoid us at all costs, apparently. Whew. Okay, we dodged another two-handed bullet. That's, that's good, kind of. And... Yeah! Big hit. And killed. Alright, sweet. We're in a much better position than we were before. Makes me super happy. Alright, next up... We have a fairly decent chance to hit him. Oh, but we can also finish off our archer friend. There we go. This guy should be toast. That guy's got... Hmm. Get through his chainmail. I guess that's okay. Alright, and... Oh, good. good. Oh, we got all the way through his armor in one shot. And we stunned that guy. Beautiful. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, gosh. Yes, hang in there. Okay, shield wall. And 13% is pretty horrible. I don't know why it's so bad, but it's okay. We're going to back up. Really? Huh. Nah, we're just going to shield wall, I guess. Alright, we're going to move in, and we're going to pin them, and we're going to hold the line. Shield wall spear attack. This should kill him. Yeah! There we go. Get some morale boosting stuff on our side for once. Move you on up. Attack says, good day, sir. Oh! The guy's got one hit. He's going to actually bleed out. This is still going to work out pretty good. Alright, again, we're going to have to hold the shield wall and we can't do anything else. Done with you. We're pretty much done with everybody, so... That's where we stand now. Let's see what the fallout's going to be. Oh, he tried to move. Well, that was a mistake. Oh, we survived again. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Holding the line, boys. Holding the line. Ooh. Yeek. All right. Oh, come on. We had a pretty good shot at that, didn't we? Okay, what do we have? 61... 56, 61, 46. Yep, he just bled out. He's dead. Alright, ooh, terrible shot. Meh, shot. 
Lord, yeah, kill him. Oh gosh, where did that arrow go? I don't know. Yeah, get handled. What are you gonna do? Eh. Well, our melee defense is definitely proving to be rather ample at this point. Whew. Okay, well, we're gonna go for this guy and miss and hit his friend, which I'm okay with, actually. You know what? Get killed. I'm tired of dealing with you, buddy. Alright. Uh, looks like shield wall is going to be my my saving grace here. And this guy's head is no longer attached to his shoulders, which is, well, probably bad. That guy's going to run and get killed by me. Probably. Additionally, shield wall once again, my friend. You have held the line beautifully on the low ground, I might add. On the low ground, which... I don't know if you guys are aware, it's pretty darn impressive. We're going to shield wall it up too. They should be able to move before we can. And I'm going to move to the high ground here. So we have a high ground advantage once again. And we're going to rest with the rest of our folks. Alright, so he just died. That's going to definitely lower some morale. We're going to come in and we're going to take a double swing on these guys. I see two swords. Here we go. And we hit them both and he is done. This guy is officially done. In fact, we're not even going to let him retreat. We're just going to kill him outright because we are angry and we can do that. And that leaves him with two people. And I'm not horribly scared of either one of those two, to be honest. That's not great. I mean, this guy could technically still wreck us, but I'm doubting it. So we go. Big hit there. This is a pretty long episode, guys. Alright, you can hide behind your shield. You can't. So I'm assuming we're out of bullets as well, or arrows, as it were. We are, but that's okay. totally fine. There we go. Let's see. Who do we have now? Ooh, Demagogly the Blind says, I'll move up one and shoot. Totally missed. Totally fine. And then good old Captain Odie over here, 56%, says good day, sir. And again, we're swapping on over and coming on down. Well, good job holding the line. There's a lot of dead bodies everywhere. Can we hit them both? No. Well, we can drop this guy and just make it a little bit easier. We can overwhelm this one. Alright, I think you've done enough. You just get to sit there and rest for the rest of this. You've done your job, buddy. You have done your job. Alright, you know what? 30% chance? Decapitation! Almost. We might have actually gotten that. It's a little sad that it didn't actually work out, but eh. It is what it is. Alright. Up next, our spearmen it can join the ranks. We're going to go around to the back side of this. Under our turn, again, you get to sit there and look cool, and you don't get to do anything. Alright, pikemen, keep a bond, move. Kippy kips, move. Is that the best you got, man? I don't think you really stand much of a chance against us at this point, buddy. We're just going to murder you, Karsten the Ox. If that is your real name, and I'm pretty sure it is his real name, just saying, guys. Okay, there we go. It's quite lovely. Actually, he just shot twice at us, didn't he? Yeah, well, we can't move. Alright, whatevs. I suppose I can go around the back side of this. Nope. And, you can't hit from that far out. So we'll move you a little bit closer. You can, however. <coughs> yeah, now he's like one hit from death, which is really, really good. And I think uh, the Pathkeeper is actually going to handle him. <laughs> and there it is, folks. Victory! That could have gone so much worse. Let's give it up to Shockness Monster for just being a boss and just tanking that entire army of guys that surrounded him. Very, very nicely done. And... Kind of spread out across the entire board, I gotta say. Paulson did a significantly large amount of damage. Darren, a lot less, ironically. Oh, and I forgot to level people up, too. Odie did the most with 607. Just wrecked fools with him. It's good. It was good stuff. Alright. And, if you take a look, 
We have all sorts of, ooh, we got another shiny hat, nice. All sorts of new equipment and things and junk and stuff. And we got a ton of money and a ton of tools and supplies, a bunch of ammunition, two, <laughs> 206.5 provisions and 103 medicinal supplies. Plus, if we wanted, we have a kite shield now as well. So, cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. All right, let's grab all that and not leave it behind. I know you guys were waiting for it. And I'm going to break out the episode right here, folks. I think that was a fitting end for episode 30. So 30 episodes in, we went after a really nasty little group of bandits. And ironically, if I would have charged in and gotten like all the groups aggroed, I think we would have lost several people. Maybe not lost completely, but... That last fight was pretty tough, and the fight before that had some potential for nasty, but we actually survived it, so I'm happy. We have a, almost a thousand tools and supplies at this point. It's looking good for us, guys. We're pretty much undefeatable without me being really, really dumb or super, super overconfident. Either way, folks, I'll see you tomorrow with more Battle Brothers. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you tomorrow.